Hi everyone and welcome. Today's video is on how to use Prima Marketing Finabare silicone molds and paper clay. I'm using the wing and locket silicone mold and the 8 ounce paper clay available at Michaels. This paper clay is really easy to use. All I did is open the package and it's wrapped in a plastic wrap to protect it. I took a piece of the clay and started kneading it with my hands. It's important to knead this really well because the more you knead it, the softer it becomes. You want to make sure that it's soft enough so it fits inside the mold. So you want to give it a good squeeze and be able to knead it as much as you need. If you need to make it a little bit softer, you can also use a little bit of water. The water helps with softening the clay and making it very pliable. Once you're ready to put it inside the mold, all you do is you cut a piece that can fit into the size of the mold you're using. And you can cut around it to make sure that it fits fully. You don't want to have too much excess around the image because you want to make sure that the image looks smooth around the edges. Then you use your fingers to push it into the mold until it's flat on the surface. One of the tricks that I have is to use a little bit of water and just smooth out the back of the clay. That way it makes it flat and smooth and it also helps to clean up around the mold. The water helps dissolve the clay that is around the edges and make the image look perfect. You can also continue using the clay that you needed to create more molds. In this case, I didn't need such a big piece of clay, so I was able to create three different images with the molds. I did the two wings and I also did the heart. And the water really helped because it really flattened the back of the wings and the heart and it cleaned up all the excess around the edges. I continued working with the clay and added to the other molds. But once you're finished adding all the clay to all the molds that you're making, and you can make many designs at a time because you could just need a lot of clay and then put it in different molds because there's many different designs. Once you're done doing that, you have a couple of options. You could let it sit inside the mold and let the clay dry. However, that's not the option I like doing because I find that the paper clay becomes really hard and I'm worried that it will break once it's dry because the mold is so soft that when you're moving it around and if the clay is too dry, it might actually become brittle and break. What I like doing is I like removing the actual clay while it's still slightly wet. That way, not only is it easy to remove, but you can actually use it for other things. I continued using water and just rubbing the image around the edges to make sure that I get a very smooth embellishment. All you have to do is just rub it and flatten it out. And I also use my nails to scrape off any excess clay around the edges of each of the embellishments. This really helps define it and it makes sure that there is no excess clay and just the image comes out. All I do is once that's done, I separate the edges from the clay. That way it will really come out easily. As you can see, I didn't let it sit for too long because I like removing the molds right away. The reason why I like doing that is because they are still pretty pliable that they can be used for putting around an object that is maybe not too flat. If you want to use a mold to decorate around a round object or a cylinder for example, it really helps that the clay is a little bit damp and soft. That way it's very pliable and it can be easily molded around any type of surface. So you could add it around a circular surface or something that is not flat. This type of clay can be glued to any type of surface, whether it is wood, glass, metal, or paper. And you can use it to create any type of projects, whether it's a canvas, an off-the-page project, or even for a scrapbooking page. And it's perfect to have a focal point for a mixed media project. Now all I did is take a sharp tool and just remove any excess clay that I didn't want but most of the clay had been removed before because I was really careful to make sure that the edges are smooth. 
I really love all the amazing details that it creates and you can really use it for any type of project. It's really amazing. One last tip is to make sure that you store the clay in a seal proof bag. You can put it back in the packaging and then put it inside a seal proof bag to make sure that the clay does not dry up because this clay is reusable. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more videos. Bye!